Flags represent so many things, but a nation flag represents so much more because it is a symbol of a nation. Let's talk about Uganda and its flag. The flag of Uganda was adopted the 9th of October 1962, the day that Uganda became independent from the United Kingdom. The flag consists of six equal horizontal bands, black on top, yellow, red, black, yellow and red on the bottom. A white disc is superimposed at the center and depicts the national symbol, a crane facing the hoist side. Buganda, the largest of the traditional kingdoms in the colony of Uganda, had its own flag. However, in order to avoid appealing to give preference to one region of the colony over any other, the British colonial authorities selected the crane emblem for use on the blue ensign and other official banners. Let's take a step back in history. When the Democratic Party ruled the country, a design for flag was proposed. It had vertical stripes of green, blue, and green separated by yellow stripes and in the center had the silhouette of a yellow crane. After the party lost the national elections on 25th of April 1962, the newly elected Uganda People's Congress UPC, rejected the former design and instead proposed the current design. It was based on the flag of UPC, a tricolor having horizontal stripes of red, yellow and black. The British administration gave the approval to this design before the country's independence. The flag was designed by the Uganda Minister of Justice, Grace Ibingila. Let's talk about the symbolism of the flag. The three colors are representative of African people, black, African sunshine, yellow, and African brotherhood, red being the color of blood, through which all Africans are connected. The gray crown crane is favorable for its gender nature and was also the military badge of Ugandan soldiers during the British rule. Did you know that the raised leg of the crane symbolizes the forward movement of Uganda? If there's anything you want us to voice about, hit us in our comment section below.